Morning, Morgan Stanley's annual senior multicultural leaders conference kicking off today. And the theme this year, nearly two and a half years into COVID is against the odds, highlighting leadership through difficulty. Joining us right now with more on the day's conversations, Carla Harris, senior client advisor at Morgan Stanley. It's great to talk to you, Carla. And what I want to do is understand how this event is different and specifically given this environment which all of a sudden has shifted, especially when it comes to startups and venture capital and fundraising. Yes, well, I'll tell you, first of all, thanks for having me again, and good morning to all three of you. And I'll tell you, this year, we're going to be talking about against the odds, leading through turbulent times, because in 2020, we had a crisis. How do you manage through that? In 21, we thought we had learned a few things. No one expected all of the surprises that we've had in 22. And it certainly has changed the landscape for investing in early stage companies, as you might imagine, because as the pandemic has gone on, as inflation has come on the scene in reality, and not just something we were talking about last year. You have many VCs and other early stage investors who are now really taking their time to stage in the companies that are in their portfolio, which means they're slowing a bit on investing in new companies. Right. But we're going to be having conversations about large corporations as well. How have they managed through this? What do we learn now about the health economy? We're going to have a great conversation with Ron Williams, and we're going to start off with my conversation with Oscar Munoz, who really knows a lot about about leading through turbulent times. Carla, how much do you think the last two years were a head fake for early stage companies? That they actually <laughs> learned the wrong lessons? That, you know, we talked in 2020 during COVID, seemed like the end of the world, but in fact, from an economic perspective, it was the opposite of that. It was almost an Alice in Wonderland situation where cash was plentiful, investors were still piling in, and uh, companies, especially early stage companies, thought they had you know, a runway to heaven uh, uh, that was going to go on forever. Well, I'll tell you, I, we were not telling our companies that they had a runway to heaven. We were saying, obviously, take advantage, as you should always take advantage of a market that is, is, is plentiful, to use your word. But at the end of the day, many companies were being very careful about what their burn rate would look like, because you and I had this conversation, you know, would the window close? And so we were certainly telling our companies to be careful, take advantage of the market, but, you know, be disciplined about your spin and about your burn. And I don't think that that sentiment has changed among early stage companies at all. Valuations it, have changed, no question. Right. Carla, you said, win, you said window, window closed. Is window closed right now? And when do we start to see private equity and venture turn into vultures? I wouldn't say that the window is closed, but I would definitely say the pendulum has shifted. It is definitely more of a buyer's market than a seller's market. And I would argue we were in a seller's market this time last summer with respect to early stage companies, especially tech enabled companies. But I wouldn't say that it's closed. Great investments are great investments. And we've continued to press forward. As you know, this time last year, when you and I spoke, we had just announced the next level fund. Well, in 11 short months, we've made eight investments out of that fund. So we've had no issue whatsoever in being able to find early stage tech enabled companies that have been founded by people of color and or women. 